Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1901 Indian Head Penny. Now, this coin is pretty cool, there's some value to it, but a select few of these are going to be worth way more because of what's called a cherry picker variety. You're going to want to be looking closely at these coins because a few of them show a misprint uh, in layman's terms, really what's called a variety, um, and these varieties are rare, but they're findable and they add a lot of value because collectors are gonna be paying up for them. So uh, the way this video will work, I'll show you this coin close up, then I'll go to a PowerPoint presentation with clear error photos. I'll explain them there, talk about the values based off of what state of preservation your coin is in, and I'll give you the full overview on the 1901 Indian Head Penny. Let's get right into it. Here we've got our sample non-error 1901 Indian Head Penny, but it's a good way to show you where to look for it. It's gonna be found on the date, and really, uh, it's gonna be more on the one and the nine, um, though a few of them have a little bit peeking out of the bottom of the zero, but uh, I'll show you what that looks like, along with some estimates on price history in the next part of the presentation. So here we've got a 1901 repunch date. Now this image was tough to find, thanks Allegiance Rare Coins. But anyways, we got the clear photo here from eBay, the bottom of the one protruding as well as sort of that little tip. Um, and then over here, the second one, uh, you can also see there should be some repunching in the north of it. So nine and zero, not the place to look, you're looking over here. Anyways, one of these sold for $150 in an AU50 PCGS condition. That's the only one that I found. Um, I do always want to go over sort of the general Indian head scent. In AU50, you're probably looking at like a $5 to $10 coin most of the time. Um, they're 1900s outside of the 08S and 09S in San Francisco are really not too rare. So they're like $1 coins. Uh, if you get to Mint State 65 brown, that's when you might be able to hit 150 bucks. Um, you know, certainly red, brown, red, that's a whole different ball game, but, um, that's just sort of a general estimate. This one is not certified at PCGS, but, uh, varieties plus at NGC has as VP 001 snow four. Um, a nice repunching here south clear in the nine as well as a little bit to the side here of the zero and then the one. So just um, something cool to be on the lookout for. Obviously only two being certified. Not a lot of price history for me to really get in detail about, but I uh, also wouldn't want to, you know, I, I want to show you everything at the PCGS and NGC that they're certifying. Um, when you sell them, definitely go buy it now or an auction with a major auctions place because if you do it on eBay, um, people might just miss it. And since the collecting base, it's concentrated. So it's not a liquid market, probably not the best sort of coin to go flip. And, you know, if you buy it at a great price, that's different. But um, you're more the goal is to place it with the right collector uh, because they can often pay up for these coins. So just a cool little thing for me to be able to show you today. Good luck finding it. Keep an eye out on all those 1901s. I mean, it's pretty tough to find, but would be very rewarding um, in terms of actually plucking one out of like a big box or a dealer jar. Or, you know, check certified coins too. You never know what could be waiting for you. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I've also got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can follow me there. Um, TreasureTownYT.com is the main channel website. Definitely give that a visit. I've got a lot of information about me up there and the channel. Uh, CoinGrabBag.com as well currently redirects there, but it's some good opportunities for very fair grab bags, both made by me and other sellers. A lot of different options, so that's a good way to support. Um, there's also TreasureTownCoins.com. In the future, my coin dealing uh, operation will be done out of that website. Uh, CoinMeltPrice.com for updates on the melt prices of your coins, both U.S. and world. A lot of resources in that website. And then CoinsMetalsCards.com being developed right now as a marketplace and news source for coins, metals, cards, and collectibles in general. So I'll see you on my future videos. Looking forward to seeing you there and hope you have a good day.